Hello, good morning. Glad you could join us on our walk. And what a day it is going to be. Back from the walk and I went by the mirror and ooh, I don't know if you can tell, but like, ooh, ooh, I'm a little burnt. So if you did miss yesterday's vlog, it's because we went out to a football game. We were out there and it might've been the hottest day of September and the sunniest day of September. And oh boy, I think we burnt. <laughs> But you know how I was talking to you guys about either doing some house projects or doing some traveling? Well, we've made up our decision. We have it booked. We're going on another trip. And since not everybody watches every single vlog, since you're here right now, I'm gonna tell you guys what we're doing, what trip we're going on, but a little bit later in the vlog. But first, some breakfast. Got the oatmeal and today we added a banana. And don't worry. Yes, we paid the tax to the dogs. And look at COVID, it's fully in the snack pack. <laughs> Look, Mama's got gibbets. Look, little dinosaur. Don't eat them. <laughs> what do you think about those? <laughs> what do you think? A dinosaur, a shark, a turtle, a dolphin? You like them? <laughs> oh, just smack me. <laughs> well, now Kova's inspecting the gibbets. What do you think about those? Look. What do you think about that? You don't know? <laughs> Come back for round two? Oh, the shark. She likes the shark. <laughs> She's, She's, eating <laughs> She's eating the shark. That's enough of eating the gibbets. We're off to go grocery shopping. And I guess it's Christmas time. They got all the lights. Wait, there's a stitch blow up. That's cool. But I guess it's Christmas time. All the decorations are out. I do like the gingerbread house. It would be so cool if we got these right here, the warm icicle lights for the house. And then also these right here, but we need the bushes in front of the house first before we can get these. <laughs> what the heck is this? And look, it says best smelt and then someone wrote scared of Tyson. <laughs> and look, do I get them? The spoon waffles. We're gonna stop over here at Petco for cat food and look, pierogi. Hello, oh my hello, gosh, she's so funny. What, only four months? Look at her. Oh my, you're going nuts. Free my man, Pierogi. <laughs> hello, Pierogi. <laughs> hello. I think we should go. <laughs> He's so funny, oh my god. He's going nuts. What did you just say? Can we adopt him? <laughs> Stopped it real quick to get an iced latte. This is the first time in a while we got one. But Chloe went with a uh, pumpkin and vanilla swirl with cold foam on top. That, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not a big fan of pumpkin drinks, but that's pretty good. And I just went with normal vanilla latte. I should have got the cold foam on top. The cold foam is pretty good. Ooh, the vanilla though. The vanilla with a little bit of cold foam is probably the move. But now we gotta pick up our lunch. You last don't get to take it while I'm gone. The last time I had cold foam, we were at the um, at the beach, at Myrtle Beach, and Starbucks, we were at the drive-thru, and somebody ordered an Americana, I think, with cold foam on top, but for me, and Starbucks just said, here, they don't, like, grab this, do you want it? I said, sure. It was absolutely disgusting. So I was a little apprehensive of the cold foam. But that's pretty good. But here we are, little 9th Street Deli for a sandwich. The goods are acquired. Back to the car and then home to show you what we got. I believe it's like a, it's called the 9th Street, but I believe it's like a club sandwich of a ham, turkey, roast beef. And there's roast beef there. Oof, so much better than most sandwich places. Groceries are away and look at that. The 9th Street sandwich. Oof, looks so, so good. What do you think, sir? Oh, all right. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye on that one. <laughs> Attacking all the bags. <laughs> Lunch was very nice, but what another absolutely beautiful day it is out here. Incredible. Now, I know a couple days ago or maybe a week ago in the vlogs, I told you guys that we were thinking of doing more of like a fall adventure. Things that you think of the places you go during the fall. And that would make sense. But... We're doing things a little bit differently <laughs> for this fall. We're doing something we've never done before, going somewhere we've never been before on a mode of transportation 
that we've never been on before. So I'm not gonna give it away just yet. You're gonna have to keep tuning in to the vlog and we'll talk about it all later in the day. But can you guys right now go down below in the comments and can you tell me what you think the adventure is gonna be? Ready? Go! Oh, we dropped that one. Always gotta get the pets. Always gotta get the pets. Oh my gosh. The skelly stumps. The skelly stumps. <laughs> the skelly stumps. Here, ready? Watch, watch, I'll throw this ball. Oh, there's grass on it. I'll throw this ball. Whoop. She catches and she'll, oh, nope. I was gonna say she brings it to me for pets, but, oh, she's sniffing. Oh, she's sniffing. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's just a bit too hot out here for her today. It is, I, I don't know what's been going on. Like the leaves are changing, you can see right there. We got proof that the leaves are starting to change, man. It's still like 81 degrees out. Bloody hot. And you know what we can do? Since we moved Chloe's office upstairs and she no longer has a TV, hers is still down here in her old office. So we can move it right here in the bottom living room and uh, give her that snowman. <laughs> Since, you know, it's not really Christmas time. So he's been there for, <laughs> he's been there for a minute. So we can take this here TV and move it to the living room. Or slowly get in there. I had to move this shelf without dropping anything <laughs> to make sure i can get the extension cord out we don't really need the extension cord anymore but since we're not going to be using it i might as well get it out of there so if we do need it for something else we'll have it and time out back up here in the kitchen chloe made some egg bites and look how good those look and that's gonna be chloe's breakfast for the week but oh man 14 seconds left the raiders versus the ravens Ra the raiders are up 26 23 14 seconds left. Baltimore has the ball. Who's gonna win that? I gotta, we, we gotta watch this real quick. Oh my, the second week in a row likely has the chance to make the game changing play. And he, he just, he can't do it. He dropped it. That one wasn't really his fault there though. He got hit pretty good as the ball was way over his head, but one second left on the clock. I mean, they gotta go for the touchdown now. Last play of the game, Lamar just takes off. Is he gonna pitch it? He does. Throws it the hill. Oh my god, he threw it forward. What? <laughs> That's it. Baltimore's 0-2. What? Alright, back to the task. Let's move this TV. Actually, the Steelers are on now, so we're going to watch the Steelers game maybe like halftime or something. We'll go down and we'll move the TV. Does that sound like a plan, Scully? Does that sound good? Oh my goodness. And hello, Kova. You want a treat? Go ahead. <laughs> and oh my, Fib comes to say hi. Hello, sir. Oh, all the pets, all the pets. <laughs> Are you alright? What's wrong? Fib, you okay? <laughs> you tired? Oh, that's a tired boy. Look at that face. <laughs> what is that? What is that face? You okay? <laughs> the Steeler game is now over. They are 2-0, winning, I believe, 13-3, finishing it off with a Bo Nix interception, which it wasn't a pick six, but the interception was actually what Madden predicted when I ran the sim. So that's kind of crazy, but here we are near the end of the vlog, and I did tell you guys I'd be telling you what trip we're going on next, and it is indeed a cruise. We're gonna be going on our first ever cruise with Virgin Voyages. I'm super excited about it. Not 100% sure what to think or what to expect, which is how I like going into things because if you go into something with high expectations, you're more than likely gonna be let down. So if you go in with zero or low expectations, you're bound to be happy about it. My main concern is getting seasick <laughs> or motion sickness. Really, really hoping we can avoid that and not have that happen. I think for our first ever cruise, I don't know if we're gonna do a lot of the excursions or anything. We might just be uh, checking out the ship, checking out the ports, and just kind of going with the flow and see what everything has to offer. So if you guys have any tips, tricks, or anything, suggestions, or anything else, for cruises, let me know down below in the comments. It'll really, really help since this is our first ever cruise. And we've gained a chunker. How are you, Feb? <laughs>
So you gotta let me know down below in the comments, did you guess what our next trip would be? I know I told you guys that we would be going on like more of like a fall trip or whatever, but this just popped up. We've wanted to do it for a while and it kind of just all fell into place. But our next trip is planned, it is booked, and I'm excited to be going on another trip finally. It's been a minute since we've traveled, but you gotta think back, like just looking back, I told you guys this is gonna be the year of travel and I think we've done a pretty good job of going to new things and it would not, not have been, it might not have been like the most extravagant adventures or here and there, but I, we tried so many different new things already this year and a cruise being a massive, massive step. We've went to Vegas for the first time. We went to Hershey for the first time. We've uh, went to a college, a D1 college football game for the first time. And we've kind of just been here, there and everywhere, trying out different experiences, trying out new things and bringing you guys along. Oh, hello. <laughs> and bringing you guys along with on this journey. So if you have anywhere else you'd like us to go or any suggestions of where we should go next, let me know down below in the comments, but hopefully you guys had a good one. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, do a bell for notifications. I'll catch you guys right back here in the next one. Peace out.